Hello, we hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very exciting episode of CSK News. And first off, I do need to thank all of you guys who left comments on all these last week videos. You know, my, my first video about me having my esports job, all the pre recorded videos while I was on my vacation with my family. Thank you all for the great response, guys. I am so ready to be back here for some daily news videos, and I cannot wait for the future of this channel, showing you guys all about Vegas, all about my new job, but mainly also focusing on CSK News, other fun videos on the channel. So huge shout outs to all of you guys and all of you guys who are new on the channel. Thank you for being here. Let's get into our first story today, though, and a big story as well. We have G Two's official roster, of course, confirmed finally. We knew that trio was going to be there. Shock, Smith's existence, and they were joined by themselves. That's going to be Body and, of course, Kenny S uh, as that main opera over there. So the G2 roster for ECS finals, we're finally going to see these guys in action. We're going to see how they do, and I cannot wait for the future of this team, which does seem to be the long-term team going forward. So that was very well expected, and now we also have changes going Envious' way, and apparently, according to Envious players like Kiyoshima, they've been told not to tell anybody about the changes in the organization, although we do know for now it will be in Shanghai again. For the Asian Championships, we will see an MVS roster change as well. That will be two players, actually. XMS and Six are going to rejoin that MVS roster. And going forward, it does seem Happy and RPK will be on the bench or maybe demoted to some other French team out there. Going forward, we only have really one clear picture of a, of a full roster going forward, that being G2. MVS right now temporarily on hold. Those players told not to tell us the finalized roster, what's going to go on with that organization. We also have MVS Academy trying out. I think we've had, in the past week or so, four or five players bouncing back between MVS Academy and other teams out there so it seems that envious going forward still wants to have two rosters a main roster and academy roster how they can still afford both those rosters no one is really sure as to why and who's going to go where else in terms of the french scene we also have mbk saying he's looking to do an international roster which could not be a french team of course it was reported by vacar a while ago he was trialing with cloud nine no one knows as the details if that if that trial did happen if that trial did go well he did say though he pretty much does want to go to an international roster so whoever needs an igl around the world he does speak fairly good english and and you can imagine the demand out there for people like MBK is quite strong. So again, going forward, G2 roster, the only real French roster certified and finalized right now, besides maybe LDLC out there, which might not be making any more changes, Envious, Envious Academy, other French teams out there still making shuffles, but going forward, it's going to be very cool to see where these great players go. MBK, RPK, Happy, those kind of players, they're going to be bouncing around the scene all over the place. And we also have, and very lastly for French news, we're going to move on to other stories here shortly. We do have the man himself, I guess the cheaters themselves, making a new team and I don't mean to downplay that these are still players who cheated a long long time ago but they're definitely going to get looked down upon in the scene we have Kukli and Uzi the former Epsilon cheaters announcing their brand new team together and they will go forward known as E-Frog their new tagline known as Fear the Frogs this is actually talked about a long time ago I think it was a couple weeks ago we had Vex Gaming release their French roster with Kukli on it and now Kukli has announced his new French project and the newest French team out there made up of, of two former cheaters but again it was a long time ago so maybe people are going to forgive these guys it's still a pretty solid roster going going forward, do they have a chance to be better than LDLC or Envious Academy? Certainly so. So jumping right into it, you could say this new French roster known as EFROG is one of the top French teams out there, but we have still have to wait to see how they really play out. And in very big news over this past weekend, we've had so much come out about this in the past. Now I do want to clarify as well, many of us are speculating right now that the contracts for the current SK Gaming roster do end in sometime early to mid-July. As of right now, it being mid-June, we're not really sure if those contracts will end early. It does seem, of course, SK's recent results seemingly saying they're not really motivated to play under the SK flag any longer and of course that does mean with recent results as well it seems the organization SK themselves seem very unmotivated to actually fund these guys to play any longer under their own team name that actually coming in lieu of some information out there according to Decay other sources out there saying that apparently for Star Ladder season 5 the championships over there apparently SK Gaming wanted to do a boot camp and the organization denied them that boot camp it does seem right now that both the team and the organization are very unmotivated to both play for one another as well as pay the team to play for them and some struggles going on over there as well. We do have some big information out there on Twitter over on the Immortals side and MIBR side. It was speculated that if the current SK Gaming roster does join Immortals, the organization buys them out, they would rebrand themselves as the MIBR, that tagline standing for Made in Brazil. It does seem more and more possible right now. MIBR launching their official Twitter page. Immortals also tweeting out some random things as well. So currently going forward, it does seem SK Gaming organization is pretty fed up with their current roster, not willing to pay for their, kit, their uh, actual players to boot camp any longer. And it does seem the SK Gaming roster could be leaving any minute now. We're not really sure on an exact date. It could be before ESL Belo Horizonte, although it's very unlikely that's happening in a couple days here. But no matter what, we do know this, guys. The current SK Gaming roster is going to join a different Brazilian organization soon. And the new SK Gaming roster will most likely be, of course, that's going to be now Tem Como. And that roster will probably join up with them. And it's going to be cool to see what happens in the Brazilian scene out there uh, on top of that. And also in big news, one of the world's best teams right now, that being FaZe Clan for ECS Finals coming on this next week. They 
will have a new stand-in player for Olaf Meister, and apparently will be Kroman from Heroic. Now, we actually speculated last week as well, Kroman leaving that Heroic roster as Rubino returned from his eye infection or his eye injury he sustained a couple weeks back. And before that, Kroman doing quite well for Heroic. He was not expected to play for any big teams out there, although it was rumored he'd be joining another team out there sometime soon. No one expected to be FaZe Clan, but apparently will be for a short stint, including the ECS Finals. It will be Kroman on that FaZe roster for Olaf Meister, who could be undergoing some very, very serious health issues. Now, we've seen in lieu of the past, of course, Olaf Meister had that pectoral issue a long time ago. This seems to be not a physical issue, more though an actual health issue itself. Um, so we're hopefully getting the best for him and hoping the best for his recovery as well. He should be back hopefully sometime soon in the future. Now also bouncing off that, some unfortunate luck for Brazilian players out there like Horvy. Horvy, one of the few former Immortal members who actually had a North American visa. So FaZe Clan looking at least was interested in him and apparently he was shut down and turned away in place of Kroman on that roster. It was just kind of sad to see and why I'm sharing this because his tweet following that, he seemed very disappointed in, in his luck of course. Uh, the Immortals roster falling apart because of financial reasons and then of course he's not being picked up by FaZe Clan for this ECS Finals. It just seems he's kind of in a bad place and I did feel bad for that. So FaZe Clan looking to actually replace Olaf Meister for a short time and they've gone with Kroman from Heroic's roster. And even more shocking news, we have ESL Bela Horizonte starting up this next week as well. We have a lot of great tournaments coming up, Star Series as well as uh, Star Series happened last week and we also have ECS and uh, ESL Bela Horizonte. A lot of great tournaments coming up in the near future that are going to be really fun to watch, especially because we have some new talent coming in, not only for FaZe Clan with Kroman, the, the kind of the rising star over there who's going to see the limelight and the spotlight very shortly here. We also have nothing though returning to competitive CSGO and he will be playing for none other than Mouse Sports. No one saw this coming. I didn't see it coming. I don't know if you guys did, then then please let me know. Uh, but uh, kind of shocking as well. We do have Mouse Sports announcing Oscar will be benched from the event. He will not be going to the event for undisclosed reasons. So you always got to worry about this. Although Oscar did tweet out he'll be back sometime soon. So maybe it's a personal issue over there. But the team did not say as to why Oscar would not be playing and apparently will be nothing. Former Cloud9 nothing returning to Mouse Sports roster and they will be one of the favorite teams going into the event. As of right now, it's FaZe Clan, Mouse Sports, and SK Gaming, probably your three best teams going. So Mouse Sports and FaZe Clan by far and away your best teams there. We'll see if they can actually win the event with nothing on that roster. And if he does win, will he stay? No, he will not. But still, it's going to be cool to see him in place of Oscar on Mouse Sports' roster. And finally, very lastly, roster change news out there. We do have NIP also making an official roster change. It will be permanent going forward. They've now taken a board Lecro and Lecro will be joining them for in place of Draken. Now the young Opper Draken had a good a good few moments with NIP in their past, but of course NIP result wise apparently not doing too well and not surprising as well. This is a player decision. There's players who wanted to make this move and Lecker will now join their team in place of Draken and his former teammate Rez will remain on the roster for the time being. So yes, NIP's roster continuing to change. We'll see if this one finally works out for them in the future. And I'm sure you're all very well aware I was gone for the past week or so, so there's been so much news that I missed, so much to catch up on as well. So expect a double upload today or a very large episode tomorrow as well. I do realize that as well the point of me recording this is actually going to be Friday night. So just released a few moments ago was OP Skins and apparently them being sued by Valve. So it was kind of Valve's official statement towards OP Skins. They made an official blog post about it. You know when Valve responds in this kind of manner, it's a very serious notion to go about. And it does seem that yes, Valve is actually threatening to sue OP Skins for their peer-to-peer -peer trading, uh, their new uh, website feature they did launch uh, very shortly ago. So this is actually a solution to CSGO trading as well as CSGO gambling. I can tell you guys from sources out there uh, in the gambling scene, many owners contacted me and saying they're going to be using this OP skin system as well as a few websites who had already incorporated it to actually kind of uh, get past that seven day trade ban and it kind of reinstated CSGO item trading as well as gambling and in a very good fashion. So of course, I do want to firstly state, I'll make, be making a full episode about this. Tomorrow's episode is going to be mostly about OP skin as well as some other stories I did miss and catch up on. So if you guys want to watch that, feel free to, but I do quickly want to say they have the entire right to do it. Maybe I don't agree with it, but they do have the right to do it. So uh, it's kind of a, a weird thing to talk about right now. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about it. We have now seen back-to-back -back moments with Valve and, and actually in doing their seven-day trade ban. Their, their, their community response obviously having a problem with the seven-day trade ban. Valve not doing anything to fix it. And then we have a website out there, OP Skins, trying to fix it. Now, whether they tried to fix it to save CSGO trading or the more likely option, they tried to sa save CSGO gambling and make, of course, an incentive monetarily for themselves. OP Skins will benefit, you know, giantly because of this. They'll make a lot of money. And that's why they probably did it. But nonetheless, them doing this probably was going to help the game a little bit. And now we have Valve backfiring and trying to sue them, which again is all in their right to do. OP Skins is using their property for their own benefit. So whether they can make an agreement, whether they can actually take a cut of what OP Skins makes, which is very unlikely. Valve will probably just try and shut them down altogether. It's a very sad thing to see here. So leave a comment down below. What do you guys think about this? OP Skins, 
had a chance to save CSGO trading as well as gambling. They did it and they successfully did it for a couple days and it took Valve about 48 hours to actually try and shut it down. So in very sad news, I hope you guys all enjoy. I will see you all later today with a very packed episode. And uh, if I don't see you guys later today, I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, my name is Jake Malak you. I will see you all then. And uh, Goodbye, guys. And I also want to apologize. It's my first episode back. I'm trying to talk slow again, but I, I've been so tired. I just got off the road, so I did have a little caffeine. No, it's not sponsored, but I do apologize. I talked really fast the entire episode, so I'm really sorry. I, I promise be better next time or the time after that. Maybe I never will get better. You know what? Yeah. Okay, bye.